In 1831, Michael Faraday, having discovered the law of electromagnetic induction, apart from other experiments, made a demonstrable device of converting mechanical energy into electrical energy, the Faraday disk. The device was extremely inefficient, but its value is moving forward the science. The device actually had a lot of corn with the burler well. The law of electromagnetic induction formulated by Faraday contemplated the conduction contour crossing the magnetic field lines. However, in the Faraday case, the magnetic field was directed along the rotation axis and the contour remained immobile regarding the field. It was most surprising the rotation of the magnet along with the disk caused the EMF to appear within the motionless external circuit. That was the Faraday paradox, which was solved several years after the death of upon discovery of the electron bearing the electric charge, the motion of which produces electric current in metals. The electrons within the disk are affected by the Lorentz force, being the vector product of the magnetic field voltage and the speed of the electron movement along with the conductor as a result of the disk rotation. The force was directed along the disk radius. As a result of the rotation, MF appears between its edge and its center. Unlike other electric machines, the generator R has a very low EMF ranging from fractions of a volt to several volts by low internal resistance and strong current. The uniformity of the current obtained, the lack of necessity to commute it by means of a rotor collector or rectify the alternate current obtained by other machines with external commuting and electronic devices, high loss of energy to reverse currents along the disk, heating it uselessly. The problem may be solved partially by means of motors and generators with liquid conducting flow along the disk parameter. The combination of uh, these properties makes the generator uh, fit for very narrow sphere of use. Due to the reversibility principle of the electric machines, a unipolar electric motor may be possible. The device is of interest for researchers as it presents a current generator model near to perfection.